child, the courtroom's gonna start looking real messy once all these celebs and their mama start testifying. I know by now, we all for certain that Diddy likes some real young and fresh, and this whole situation just keeps going from bad to worse. New details are starting to emerge that suggest that Usher's mom knew what Diddy did to him, and she's been waiting for the right moment to get her justice. Considering Diddy is no longer as powerful as he used to be, she just might testify on what really happened between Usher and Diddy and how he put him in the hospital after using him like a toy, if you know what I mean. Now, when Usher was young, he first signed to LaFace Records as a young teen, and Diddy was his mentor, so Usher moved all the way to New York to live with Diddy. This is where the whole drama started, because Diddy really mentored Usher, only it was not in music, baby. According to Usher's mom, when he hit puberty, he lost his voice, and nobody wanted to work with him no more, and Diddy, being a record label exec at the time, decided to take him. Usher's mom handed over the care and protection of Usher to Diddy, but according to Usher, the things he witnessed while living with Diddy changed him as a person. When they asked Usher if they'd let his son attend Diddy's flavor camp, he said never. And while speaking on the Howard Stern show, he basically suggested that a lot of ish happened to him. A lot of curious things took place that his parents knew nothing about. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man, Faith Evans, Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige. They ain't know nothing about this Oh, <laughs> I was having a good time, you know what I mean? That's not the only time that Usher suggested that something happened to him. Like, when he was speaking with Essence Magazine and was asked about Diddy's parties, he got real tense and said, I want to save some ish for my book one day. I'll put it this way, there was a lot of S-E-X. Child, when the book coming out, though? But Usher has been sneakily trying to tell us all about Diddy for years. There's this one time Diddy basically confessed to waking up next to Usher every morning, and I need y'all to look close mostly at Usher's face when Diddy basically slipped out that information. He looked uncomfortable as hell. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. Now, new reports are saying that Diddy and Usher had a situation, which eventually landed Usher in the hospital, and that led Usher's mom to come forward and confront Diddy. So apparently, Diddy couldn't stop playing with him, and this landed poor Usher in the hospital. Gene Deal confirmed this during an interview. If you don't mind me asking, because I know the topic is sensitive, what happened to Usher? I heard about some music executive from the industry back in Harlem. You know, I heard it from some music executives back in Harlem. And I'm not going to speak on their name. They doing uh, programs and everything like that. And they may be doing some of them. They may speak on it themselves. But I heard it from some music executives. What did you hear? Bro, you know, you know how people be talking and we was around some people, something like that. And then some people might say, yo, I don't F with that dude. And we, we, I, at the time, I didn't even know who the F Usher was. You know what I'm saying? It was one of those type of situations. And when probably say, yo, man, I don't F with them. Man. I'm getting out that industry and everything like that. You know, you know, Puff sent this little kid to the hospital. How he sent him to the hospital? Man, bleeding from the... And that's what was said. Oh, I didn't even have a name for the kid at the time. Then you heard, it, and that's what happened. So, and just to hear this, and this new thing where they saying that they got kids coming forward and said that he did that, I, I don't, man, that's crazy. And like I just said, you know, that's just something that I heard. Now, while all this was being revealed, several people have called out Usher's mom for not doing nothing back then. And they saying she wanted fame for Usher, so that's why she let things go. But according to her, she had no idea of what Usher was going through. In another interview, she said she made the right call and had diligently done her homework. I was assertive. Okay? I did my homework. You know, the industry that he wanted, you know, um... As a single parent, it was very difficult at first, but it was his dream, you know, so I had to really do my homework. And that's how I nurtured that career, is, you know, I found the right people to associate with, 
Now, I do not question a mother's decision, but honey, I do not think you did a proper study of who you let take control of your son, because it did not end well knowing all we know now. Usher going to Diddy's flavor camp changed him, and not out of sheer will, but by force. According to the word on the street and Usher in turn, he became the very thing he feared, because what you see is what you become. Take example his relationship with Justin Bieber. This whole mess ain't even helped by the fact that Usher's name was in the lawsuit that Lil Rod filed against Diddy. Lil Rod is one of the many people who have sued Diddy, and although he didn't explicitly mention Usher's name, but a redacted part caught the internet's eye because it was clearly referring to Usher. He did not, it, it did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the f I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in intercourse with rapper five that's redacted look five he's a philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki minaj yo meek we were playing around with that michael ruby but if you don't you've been tweeting about every, you've been tweeting about everything on planet earth if you don't get a twitter rant saying you about to get a little rod you about to show up his block blow his mama's house up this is saying that you and diddy were fornicating what the f I mean, which other artist has close relations to Diddy, performed at the Super Bowl, and had a successful Vegas residency, if not Usher? The reason why Usher's name was even in that lawsuit in the first place was because Diddy was bragging about the men who bent the knee for him. And he allegedly mentioned both Meek Mill and Usher. Usher can deny this all he want, but his arguments ain't holding no water because he was also accused of spreading an STI to two women. And catch this, a man too. There's a woman named Quan. Fantasia Sharpton, another woman who hid her identity as Jane Doe, and a man who identified as John Doe. Quantasia and Jane Doe accuse Usher of hooking up with them and not informing them of his herpes. According to Jane Doe, she slept with Usher at least twice, and after contracting herpes from Usher, her kids were stillborn. Of course, the man also narrated his own tale, because he claimed that he hooked up with Usher at a Koreatown spa in LA and got infected too. But the lawsuit suddenly disappeared appeared, and it was rumored that Usher actually paid a million dollars for the case to go away. Now with this, I can't even help but remember Kim Porter's book that was meant to come out, and how she allegedly had actual footage of Usher and Diddy getting into it. But maybe that's why Usher been real quiet. But I mean, you would think that a victim would sympathize with other victims. He hasn't said anything about the entire scandal, and he's also not speaking up for these victims. Diddy got so much dirt on him, he probably feels it's smarter to stay silent just like all these other celebrities. One person said, what gets me is if Usher got his booty busted so bad by Diddy that he landed in the hospital, why would he put innocent young Justin in his hands? Usher needs to be locked up too. I have no respect for him after learning his role with Justin. This user said, do you trust a man who's been by Diddy? He needs to come clean on what he knows and what he's done with Diddy. And I could not agree more, but I'm really interested in y'all thoughts. So what do y'all think? Y'all been knew what to do? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.